what what do you wear to your funeral is the question they asked my dad while he was lying on his deathbed and I whispered to him you don't have to worry about that right now so Regina this is your very first lyricist lounge and uh, I just want to know why spoken word poetry um, it's a good way for me to get out my emotions on paper instead of taking them out in a better way or doing something worse, trying to get over my emotions. And it helps me find closure with my dad. So there's a lot of emotions that you bottle up inside because of a significant incident that happened in your life. Why don't you tell us about, about that? Um, yeah, I did lose someone very special to me. And when that happened, I just felt like I died with them. And now I had no other way to get out my emotions. So I felt through spoken word that that would be a good way to get it out and release everything and find closure. I'm really excited, Regina, to hear your poem and you to do this. I know it's been a long time and uh, you've got a lot to say, but what are you looking forward to most uh, tonight doing your poetry? I'm looking to find closure and hoping this is a good way and it'll help me find closure and I can just get all this off my chest and hopefully it helps my mind, my mom find closure too. I got one question for you. Do you know the gospel? Are you prepared to give an answer to this world that's hostile? Where would you start? Where in the scriptures would you go to tell the world of the one and only God who came low? You first came to Lyricist Lounge One. Yep. And uh, what was it about Lyricist Lounge One that really got you to a point where you were like, I need to get involved in this? I think one of my favorite things about Lyricist Lounge One was just watching those kids just authentically express themselves and worship through poetry well aware that I'm sure they don't have as many platforms as many of us to express themselves and it was just beautiful to hear them pour themselves out with pen and paper and just so wanted to be a part of that. So in Lyricist Lounge 2, Doug, you uh, joined the platform, joined the stage with a piece that you wrote with the kids. Uh, what was that experience like for you? I think my favorite part about the last Lyricist Lounge was that I got the opportunity for them to hear my story. My whole poem was just about my day-to-day -day existence as a pastor here in the Quad Cities and what I face on a day-to-day -day basis. And so many of the poems that I heard from the first event were all about that. And so it was a neat just opportunity to build relationship and rapport with these kids. They would get to know me as Doug Roland, now DeFresh. I think one of my uh, favorite things is just has been watching these kids get to know me. and I'm. Really looking forward to Lyricist Lounge 3. This is the first time that I've really been able to be part of the practices and really evaluating them and them evaluating me. I feel like our relationship has really become reciprocal. And I love just hearing them express themselves and just kind of critiquing and the whole, the whole art really that is spoken word poetry. I just uh, really have become a part of that process and uh, so looking forward to what God has for us tonight. I feel these chasing emotions approaching. Should I seek the fear that's near, or should I revoke the approach? Is it honestly the world life you will fear that makes it seem that there's nothing that's killing me? Jerome, we got Lyricist Lounge 3 coming up. I just want to know why you're so passionate about that poem that you want to spit. Well, the reason I'm so passionate about it is, is because I don't want this just to be another poetry slam, you know. I want people to be able to relate to what I'm saying, you know. You know, people can come to a poetry slam and just get up and stand and snap and cheer, but I want them to get something out of it. I want them to inhale it, you know? Man, that's deep. You want them to inhale your poem? Man, just, just what, like, what does that mean to you? You know, we're writing poems that relate to us or not to us or somebody. And we want them to leave with it, not just to come to eat the food and, and a socialized event, you know? We actually you want, want them to take it in. Yeah, take it in. For them to, like, experience. To apply it to their life, you know? All right. There's some deep stuff going on. So Jerome, tell me why you chose the art form of spoken word poetry to convey your message. You know, the reason I chose um, poetry is because, you know, you can relate to, a lot of people can relate to it. It can, um, it's from the mind, it's from the heart, and you know, a lot of people go through the same thing you do, but the thing is, you write it down, and you be brave enough to speak it, and plus it's another tool to um, help God's kingdom grow. So, that's part of the reason why I do poetry. All right.